In this lecture, we demonstrate the use of Ohm's Law, the basic principles of Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws, and the concept of equivalent resistance for series and parallel resistors to solve for unknown currents and voltages in resistive circuits. Well, for our first example, we have a circuit with a 12 volt voltage source that's connected to a network of six resistors. Now let's see if we can use some of the basic principles we've learned to solve for the currents through and equivalently the voltages across each of the resistors. Now one approach to doing this is to begin by reducing this circuit to a single loop. Now to do that we'll begin by replacing the 9 kilo ohm resistor and the 3 kilo ohm resistors that are in series with a single 12 kilo ohm resistor. After we do that, we can look at the parallel combination of 4 kilo ohms and 12 and replace those by a single 3 kilo ohm resistor. Now recall that the equivalent resistance for the parallel combination of two resistors is obtained by dividing the product of the resistances by their sum. In this case, the product would be 4 kilo ohms times 12 kilo ohms, and the sum would be 4 kilo ohms plus 12 kilo ohms. So what we're going to do is replace that segment with its equivalent resistance that we've determined is 3 kilo ohms. So from this point to this point we have 3 kilo ohms. Next, we can combine the two 3 kilo ohm resistors, which are in series, and call that 6 kilo ohms, and that's in parallel with 6 kilo ohms. Now remember that when two resistors of equal resistance are in parallel, the equivalent resistance is half their individual resistances, so we can replace this network of resistors with a single 3 kilo ohm resistor between these two locations. Now at this point we have 12 volts applied across a total resistance of 9 plus 3 or 12 kilo ohms. So if we wanted to compute the current flowing through this 9 kilo ohm resistor, that would be 12 volts divided by 12 kilo ohms or 1 milliamp. Now we can recreate the circuit. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take that 3 kilo ohm resistor out of the circuit and we'll put back in this segment of the circuit. And what that will allow us to do is determine the current that flows through this 3 kilo ohm resistor and this 6 kilo ohm resistor. Now in this case we can use the voltage, the rather the current division relationship. So we have 1 milliamp entering a parallel combination of 6 kilo ohms in parallel with 6. So now if we use the current division, the current flowing through this segment is the opposite resistance, 6 kilo ohms, divided by the total resistance, which is 12, so that would be 1 half times the original current, which is 1 milliamp, so we'll have a half of a milliamp flowing in that direction and we'll have a half of a milliamp flowing in this direction. So now we can replace this 3 kilo ohm resistor with its original resistance. And in this situation what we have is now we have half of a milliamp coming into a parallel combination which has 12 kilo ohms in parallel with 4. 9 plus 3 is 12 in parallel with 4, so the amount of current that flows in this direction would be the original 1 half of a milliamp times a ratio, and it would be the ratio of the opposite 
resistance, which is 4 kilo ohms, divided by the sum, which is 16. So that would be 1 half milliamp times 4 sixteenths or 1 fourth. So that would leave us with 1 eighth of a milliamp through these resistors. And if we have a half here, this arm, this path will see, again, it'll see 1 half. And then it is the opposite resistance is 12 divided by the sum, which is 16. So that's 12 16 or 3 fourths of 1 half. So that would be 3 eighths of a milliamp. So at this point, we've determined all of the currents in this circuit. So we have 1 milliamp flowing through this 9 kilo ohm resistor. We can compute its voltage as 1 milliamp times 9 kilo ohms, or 9 volts. We have a half a milliamp through this 3 kilo ohm resistor. We have a half a milliamp through this 6. We have an eighth through this 9 and through this 3 kilo ohm resistor. And we have 3 eighths of a milliamp through this 4 kilo ohm resistor. That would allow us to compute any of the voltages in this circuit. Well, here's another example with a single current source that's providing current to a network of resistors. And I'd like to select the value for the current source, and I've called that I here, so that the voltage across the 1 kilo ohm resistor, which I've called V0, is 1 volt. So what I'd like to do is set this current so that the currents that flow through this network of resistors are such that we get 1 volt across this 1 ohm resistor. Well, the first thing we might do is combine the 3K and the 6K ohm resistors into a single 2 kilo ohm resistor. What I'd like is to take those two and replace them with a single 2 kilo ohm resistor. Now recall if we have a 3 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with a 6 kilo ohm resistor, the equivalent resistant, resistance is the product of the resistances divided by the sum of their resistances. And in this case that gives us the 2 kilo ohms. Now the current through this 6 kilo ohm resistor that flows along this path that's equal to I which is just simply the current provided by this source. Now when it gets to this point it sees a parallel connection of resistances. Through this path there's 3 kilo ohms plus 1 kilo ohms so there's 4 kilo ohms. Through this path there's 2 kilo ohms plus 2 kilo ohms so there's 4 kilo ohms and those are in parallel, 4 kilo ohms in parallel with 4. Now by the current division relationship, anytime a current encounters a parallel combination of two resistors with equal resistance, well the current will split evenly among those two. So we'll see half of I in this direction, so that's I over 2, and we'll see half of I in this path. Now we know that whatever current we apply to this current source, half of that will go through this path. And we know that the output voltage that we want to be equal to 1 volt, that that's equal to, so V0 that's equal to I over 2, the current times this resistance, which is 1 kilo ohm here. And we'd like that to be equal to 1 volt. So that tells us that the current must be equal to 2 volts 
multiply by the 2 on both sides, divided by 1 kiloohm. So that would be 2 milliamps. Well, finally, let's take a look at a circuit that has three resistors, a 2 milliamp current source, and a dependent current source whose current is proportional to the voltage across the 2 kilo ohm resistor. And let's see if we can use the principles we've learned so far to solve for this voltage across the 2 kilo ohm resistor that we've labeled V0. Well, to begin, let me label this current that flows through this path, this wire. Now this current will be the sum of these two currents. If we apply Kir Kirchhoff's current law at this node, we'll find that this current, and let me label this current as I, and then here I'll write an expression for I. I, that current, will be 2 milliamps plus the current from the dependent source, which is V0 over 2000. So whatever voltage this turns out to be, it'll be scaled by, divided by 2000, and that'll be the current that's applied from this source. Now this current is split through the parallel combination of two resistances. We have the resistor, 6 kilo ohm resistor here, and on this path we have a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series with a 2 kilo ohm resistor, so that's a 3 kilo ohm resistor. So we can use Kirchhoff's, or we can, excuse me, we can use the current division relationship to determine what this current and this current will be in this circuit. Now, to solve for V0, we're most interested in this current. So this current will be the current that splits on this parallel combination, that's I, times a ratio, which is the opposite resistance, which is 6 kilo ohms, divided by the sum of the resistances, which is 6 plus 3, or 9, so that'll be 9 kilo ohms, that'll be 6 kilo ohms divided by 9 kilo ohms, which would be 6 ninths, or 2 thirds. So 2 thirds of the current flows in that path, one-third of the current will flow this way. So if we have two-thirds of I flowing through this path, that's the current that'll flow through the two kilo ohm resistor, so the voltage across that resistor will be the current, which is two-thirds I times the resistance which is 2 kilo ohms. Now this V0 is the V0 in this expression that defined I. So let's substitute for V0 in this expression and what we'll have is I is equal to 2 milliamps plus, now V0 is 2 thirds I times 2,000 ohms, and we'll divide that by 2,000, so that'll leave us with 2 thirds I. So from that expression, I have I minus 2 thirds, so that'll be 1 third I is equal to 2 milliamps And that tells me that I, this current, is equal to 6 milliamps. Now if this current is 6 milliamps, and this is our expression for the desired voltage, then that desired voltage is going to be 2 thirds times 6 milliamps, that's I, times 2 kiloohms. And that's going to give us 2 thirds, so the milli 
amps times kilo ohms will leave us with volts. And then we have two thirds of six times two. Two thirds of six is four times two is eight. So that'll leave us with eight volts. And at that point, we've solved for the desired voltage across the two kilo ohm resistor. And this is an example of how we might apply these ad hoc methods for a circuit that has a dependent source.